Okay, so mutation is finally out. Worn out welcome. On the Temple of the Past, we have uh, just die, enemies have double life, long range, all enemies has plus three range added to their normal range, except uh, melee, melee units, of course. And uh, inspiration, enemy heroic units increase the attack speed and armor of enemies, well, enemies within a <coughs> small range. I think this is a range of four or five. I, I actually don't kind of forgot which actually the range is. So I was on the solo kill, got uh, Stilko Ella, uh, yeah, Stilko Lord of the Horror, I am favorite specialist, um, and I wasn't able to record at the time I was uh, playing, so, and it was interesting game, so I decided to cast it, because, um, uh, okay, this is ally, this is uh, me, and, uh, okay, start a depot first, and I'm, of course, having a laser mastery, because I have a weapon specialist, and I like laser mastery, and, uh, my other master is a structure, health, and uh, uh, what? Uh, ah, combat drop, of course, yeah, because they don't have concentrated we have a weapon specialist. Okay, so uh, I didn't have Terran Commander yet. I did uh, Kerrigan with the Hakael, I did uh, uh, Zerat with Vorazun I did uh, Abator with Alarak Ally, so one Terran Commander here, and one semi Terran Commander, infested Terran Commander over here, so yep, pretty good. So I decided to, uh, yeah, yeah, I of course rush, uh, rushing laser upgrade, so uh, making factory, but I didn't, uh, I wasn't going for units, and even if I was going for units, first factory always has to go in the air and down there to help uh, defend, <coughs> and even push a bit, and now I'm making uh, armory, because uh, laser upgrades, uh, your conditioning conditions are to have armory, so uh, I'll be able to upgrade lasers. So uh, this, and I'm also also send the worker to clear my expansion to build a blaster billy because when enemies start arriving, laser should be dealing with them, not doing this. Uh, of course, now it's nothing else to do. It's here. I didn't want to push with the with the factory because I don't have fire suppression system yet. So I'm just uh, okay. So now <coughs> I see that it's zealot. It's a bit of the matriarch, not the best because they have the corsairs, they have the the the, the disruption web. So I have to kite them. You see, these guys are not uh, in the range of in damage range so I have to be careful not to let these zealots reach the temple so I always says to target the first one uh, to be, to kill them and they have double life so uh, takes some time to kill them and now I'm going down in the factory clearing this of course I'm building the engineering bay now <coughs> little bit delayed because I have to micro, I have to be careful not to let these zealots reach the temple. And the uh, laser slows enemy units by... Uh, okay, I'm a little bit late with this. Uh, did I actually ever take this upgrade? I wonder, now I wonder did I actually ever take this upgrade? <laughs> Maybe I even forgot this, okay this was... This would be a big, big blunder if I forgot this, and I think... Uh, no, we'll see. I, I I don't remember, actually. I don't remember, actually. But the game was going well, now I'm dropping combat drop to help me. And now these guys are coming. Because they were too close to the bonus, but of course I want to... Uh, and the ally is going for the bonus. You know, I hate these things. I mean, most people just go for bonus, you should first clear the lane, because when you want to push in here to kill this thrasher, and then you have all cannons all the way here, and if this is this enemy there, and you also have siege tanks, and you also have nuclear silos there, and you, they send ghosts at some point in time in this map, so... And especially for me, as I was swan, because I wanted to spawn camp, so... I like going for bonus, actually, I'm not very satisfied with that. 
I, okay, I started the uh, upgrade. I was so worried. Okay, I was thinking. Okay, I didn't I forget the most important upgrade because a laser deals basically 20 DPS. It first upgrade uh, it's uh, up to 30, and the second upgrade is goes 20 more 50 damage. So it's pretty important to upgrade that, especially with these prestige when laser deals uh, splash damage. Okay, Ella now goes here, and that's, yeah, not good. Okay, so I am uh, now paying, but... Uh, hey, help your friends. Okay, I said clear lane. Hey, well, Bonuses well, later. Two remain. I'm doing, doing the last upgrade here. And Ella infest this, which is good for stalling. And I pause the game here, we had a little conversation, he says why, I mean why. LA with, uh, okay, he's level 400 or something, but he has a more than other bonuses. I guess he is one of these guys that don't watch anybody's video, they just have their own way doing games. Not very, <coughs> not big desire to improve their gameplay. But I mean, should have learned that uh, it's good to clear. Because they rebuild, as you can see. Okay, now my factor is a little bit of a trouble, and a little bit of a trouble because uh, yeah, these guys uh, have plus three range, and now a laser cannot have vision. Okay, now they're finally dead. Uh, this thing survived, which is good. Okay, I am not uh, taking my guesses. I didn't take my guesses at the end of the whole game because I don't need guesses. Okay, now I'm starting starport because I uh, will be needing the, the Hercules for my worker transport later. Okay, now I'm dropping this and I also have uh, the second factory over here to help the vision and if these guys die to tank some damage to help laser kill them. Okay. And the ally is clearing here, and now I can start building structures over here. Uh, okay, now the hybrids come. I have the structures here, so in case they reach, they probably will, because uh, inspiration and just die is too much for my bots. <coughs> Usually I can clear the whole lane with the uh, bots and the laser, but now it's okay. I didn't. Uh, I should have said, uh, said this on whole position because now it just runs uh, from the damage, escapes from damage, and these the guys have a very big range, so laser can't kill them. Okay, Elena goes to clear his side, which is good. Oh, of course he's going for bonus or no? Okay. Okay, now I forgot who it was. I was occupied with my stuff over here. But okay, these guys actually don't do a lot of damage, so... Uh, uh, repair beam can almost uh, out-repair them and it will be done in time. Okay, I think this is second life, yeah. Unfortunately, the lane is not clear yet, but it will be at some point in time. Okay. Uh, I was able to have a decent uh, defense over here. Um, this was pretty unfortunate, these Corsairs. And uh, the most unfortunate thing was actually that these Betis killed all the Zealots. So these Corsairs, because enemy ways uh, tend to uh, stay clamped up. And when all the comrades on the ground died, then these Corsairs felt no obligation to stay and wait for the for the Zealots and they proceed directly to the temple and unfortunately as they cannot attack ground so this was not uh, not the perfect game anymore because temple got hurt but I think this is actually the last damage temple ever received maybe he did a little bit later okay finally my uh, my defenses give way but they stalled enemies enough, so now I'm building these things because the treasure will arrive soon. 
But now my ally kicks in, and now he has, uh, he already has, uh, uh, okay, can I can see this truck? Check, he already has uh, 14 bunkers, and uh, with inspiration, with inspiration, yeah, is, is it the armor? Is it the armor? Yes, armor, so they don't do much damage to Amos units, but they can stall them practically indefinitely. So okay, now I'm dropping the drop here so I don't lose this structure before they kill the uh, hybrid. Oh, but actually, yeah, I will even get rid of get rid of those. And now, when I do that, now I send my uh, arrows to actually clear this side, which will be of course okay. I like helps with the infestation, and I think this is the second life thrasher. Also, have double life. And down it goes. So I have a decent. Okay, uh, not not yet. But I will go for full saturation because I need minerals. Although I'm floating pretty much, I was actually kind of preoccupied there, so I forgot to should have had Hercules uh, earlier. But uh, okay, I'm uh, sticking with structure stuff because structures are uh, important for both of us. <coughs> oh yeah, this little bit of a more damage to the temple, yeah, but this Corsair. Okay, so I was kind of uh, late. I sent uh, the SCVs, but I was late here. So as this was not yet complete, the time pressure uh, was up, I decided to attack Thrasher with these two workers. Uh, to draw aggro because otherwise it might just trash the, the temple. But now uh, when it's complete, it's good. I'm building this one, and uh, these turrets won't, of course, destroy treasure fast. But I don't care as, uh, as long as they keep treasure occupied, so it doesn't trash the temple, and the, the it treasure doesn't do a lot of damage. So uh, repair uh, drones can easily out repair the damage. Okay, now I'm starting the starting the defense over here on Ally side. I'll also uh, building some more defenses here. Unfortunately, these corsairs are uh, annoying with these disruption webs. But uh, <laughs> it could be worse. Like uh, I think Skytos Tempest would be worse. As double life Tempest with inspiration and even longer range than Tempest normally have would be pretty bad, but uh, and even uh, carriers like normally it wouldn't be too big of a problem, but double life oracles and both race I think would do a lot more damage than, than scouts, so uh, carriers are the least of a problem because interceptors, uh, interceptors are not very good against the turrets. And if you are a Grease Monkey, then Z Zerglings Interceptors do almost no damage. Okay, I don't have a... I dropped some uh, workers here, but unfortunately it's too late. So it will be up to Ally to mostly deal with these things. While... Well, let, the, let Ally do, deal with this. My factory will go down, which means that I... Uh, yeah, now uh, I realized that uh, I don't have a factory because both my factories died. So I need a factory because it's a condition for my turrets only for spinning these, only the engineering base for spinning DZ. For, for anti anti ground turrets, uh, you need to have a factory. No, I'm not left floating factor anymore because there is no need for it anymore okay as you can see the ally not much of a damage because ally did you only nine damage and these guys have uh, armor let me see how much how much armor does the carrier have uh, unfortunately i cannot see that because it's building interceptors okay scout has uh, well, yeah, five armor, two plus three. So uh, because hybrids are near, so uh, this goes slow. But uh, look at this—it's <laughs> uh, like 
the, the, these things are never going to get through. I think, I think this treasure never got any damage. So the, I'm helping it a little bit with this. The Dragro, these, these uh, things to somehow I can get near hybrid faster. Okay, and these guys were... Uh, and I stole the, these uh, last bits of the defense, so well, I didn't have to fight everything at once, so this was kind of good. Okay, Alexander here, that's very good. To kite enemies, so my defenses uh, can do the rest of the job while I'm building pretty big defense over here and also over here. And this is even not clear, but never mind, it will be soon. Okay, the remnants of this will go through, but uh, I have enough. I have more than enough over here to fight this. And Ally is still struggling with these hybrids. Okay, a little help of my laser. <laughs> Down they go. And... Uh, <coughs> yeah, let's see, he has uh, 34 bunkers. Okay, that's almost maxed out. Let me see, he's... Uh, actually... Let me check his supply. Under 93, yeah, he's uh, he just built one more bunker. Okay, I'm of course not max because I'm not building units, but I'm uh, saturated, that's good. And building more workers to send them. Send them here, yeah. That. And now. Okay, now they don't do and don't have enhanced armor. Yeah, carriers uh, three even more, so three plus three are six armor. But uh, they don't do damage. Interceptors do damage, so uh, you can see the interceptors are all almost dead. So carriers are not big a problem. And. Uh, both sides are holding, but now when hybrids come, that will be a little bit different situation. Anything that we goes through, I have uh, these defense over here. So even if this gets broken, I have the this small defense that uh, that was fighting this thrasher, and these turrets. So there is no way these enemies are going to reach ever reach the temple. Okay, I'm even dropping the bots. Well, on the other side, my uh, my turret finally gave way because uh, yeah, this is pretty powerful. But uh, now allies units are killing them. I still have turrets over here, so this is a pretty big, uh, pretty good defense. Now these enemies won't go down very fast. But there's no chance they will reach temple in time they actually will ever reach the temple because uh, eventually they... Oh, unfortunately, hybrids didn't go down in, down in time, so now the these guys are also inspired. But, uh, okay, allies even slower here. <laughs> if these dudes fighting interceptors, my... Uh, so it's uh, idling here, I'm floating 4500 minerals, but uh, I did what I had to do. And now I'm building these uh, around the temple for every case. Uh, if, uh, yeah, this is this is annoying, these, uh, these disruption web webs. And when uh, enemies uh, revive, they revive with full energy. And I think they also... Well, oh, but I... Do they? They revive with the uh, uh, reset cooldown. I think they do. Okay, I mean these corsairs can do nothing. They can kill this, but they can do anything to my base. So this is actually good that this thing uh, got their attention, so they don't attack, attack the temple. Now my ally went here, and he ab uh, he abandoned these guys, but they are still trying to kill my turrets. So by the time. They could. Uh, they just started to move forward. It was a GG. So we didn't actually kill the attack waves. But I mean, uh, even if uh, they came, even if uh, the temple was not on timer, we would eventually kill them because uh, we had too much for them. So this is a kind of turtle game, but a very efficient one because we were 
we were never in any uh, actual uh, danger uh, to lose this game. Okay, so let's see the... Let's me quit this replay. So I can show this was the last game I played. So it should be right uh, here. Um, let's see. Yeah, well, it has a lot of bounties. Okay, I had uh, significantly more kills. Though, well, I. Uh, uh, yeah, temple. This uh, two corsairs. That first, uh, first those first two, and then the the other one from the from the north, from the northwest. Uh, added a few, a little bit more, but uh, with the bonuses, uh, it wasn't for clear. We never got across the the gorge except the Alexander. We didn't clear there, but uh, it was necessary. And uh, let's. See the other statistics. Um, okay, so as you can see, laser drill, 245 kills, uh, most kills for me, for my ally, of course, in Twisted Troopers. But uh, yeah, laser is really, really important here, especially if you fight air, air compositions, <coughs> and. Uh, Turrets also did the job, even Ares, pretty decent job. I lost 50 turrets uh, in normal game, I don't, I don't even make the, this many turrets, but uh, they did their job. Still 30, 38 alive at the time the game ended, and uh, even some stuff on the ground. I actually didn't lose a lot of Betty's, most Billy's, but uh, okay, 38 bunkers for Ally, and uh, Pretty, pretty good game. 3182 infested troopers created. Yeah, that's power of uh, that's power of Stukov. So, uh, you know, with these two commanders, these two prestiges, you can really fight and stall the enemies. Okay, that was it for this video. Like and subscribe if you liked it. And thanks for watching.